Africa is on its way to realize massive technology growth and increased connectivity, fueled in part by the adoption and application of cloud solutions. Driven by mobile applications and economic aid, among others, there are increased rate of adoption of cloud services in the public and private sectors. Another growth factor for cloud service in Africa is big data, and it is placing a great deal of pressure on companies in terms of data security and the need to protect and maintain data integrity, regulate use, and much more. But some people still ask what cloud service is all about. Well, I would say we've always had cloud computing. It's just you coin a good word and then you sell it. Um, if, if the statistics are right, Nigeria has one of the highest Facebook penetration in the world. Well, Facebook is what? So it's cloud computing. So it's, it's become, once you start accepting that you can do Facebook, then very soon most of the other things you can do will look like Facebook. So the, what's happening is that the barrier between people accepting it has shrunk and therefore that's opening the, the, the way because it's acceptance that's the first thing. Once people can accept, then you can provide the service. So I think with improving com communications in Nigeria and with people getting more used to a lot of these cloud services, then it becomes pretty easy for, for us to put in more and more services because what we have in our environment is that um, very little of our economic activity is actually automated, very, very little. And therefore, it is a huge opportunity from hospitality to retail to, you just name it. Ulushola Teniola of Internet Solutions Nigeria, a division of Dimension Data, talks about the dynamics of cloud solution adoption globally, but particularly within Africa. Cloud computing is a new technology that has been around with us for a while, but I think has just taken, uh, I would say, commercial acceptance in the ICT industry, the banking industry, the fast-moving and consumable goods industry, and other verticals that require low-cost computing. In a recent innovation dinner organized by IT News Africa in Johannesburg, South Africa, Grant Morgan, General Manager Cloud Services of Dimension Data, Middle East and Africa, confirmed that the company has witnessed a 20% month-on-month compounded growth in terms of cloud solution adoption. For Computer Warehouse Group, a Nigerian IT utility company, more organizations across Sub-Saharan Africa are leveraging up opportunities that cloud offers. We are currently building out our capacity to provide software as a service. Um, what people call cloud. Hardware also play a major role in driving cloud service. Bora Taser, Senior Cloud Solution Architect, Middle East, Turkey and Africa at Intel Corporation, said that by 2015, 50 billion devices will be connected, which will drive requirements from a consumer and business point of view. Intel predicts that the cloud will be federated by 2015, this means that every customer who uses cloud services should be able to move their verticals from service provider to service provider and do so without any issue. Automation will play a key role in the development of cloud towards the realization of this model and the cloud journey. And that is exactly what the Nigerian government at the federal and state levels are doing, automating government to people services. Eni Akishola is Chief Press Secretary to the Ondo State Government and he tells us their experience. In Ondo State, we understand the state has been deploying um, some major technologies to drive governance in the state. Can you let us into some of this? Thank you very much. In our own little way, what we have done under the Ishagumiko administration is to first and foremost address the basics. And then what do we mean by that? We have um, started the process and almost the digitalization of the pay process. Uh, we have done biometrics of civil servants. We have a database of all public civil servants in the state. 
we have also gone ahead to do digitalization of medical records, which mm -hmm. is by far uh, one of the biggest mm -hmm. of the projects that we are doing now mm -hmm. and it means going through all the state general hospitals, going through the basic care centers and having the medical records of every resident of the state that has ever passed through digitalized, documented okay. and digitalized in an archival form. Okay. But not only for archival purposes but for interactive purposes so that if for instance you leave state specialist hospital Ikare and come to Akure and the doctor wants to assess your information. All he yeah. does is to just put in some codes and the information about you comes on, on display. What you have done thus far, the last treatment, yeah. what you are predisposed to, what you react to, this information are being packaged. We are way into it okay. and very soon we will start deploying for, for, for use. But by far the most important thing we have done is the card we are here. The card we are here to be modest is uh, the first multi-purpose smart card in this part of the world and I, I, I stand to be corrected. It is not only for identity purposes, it is for interactive purposes, for business purposes, it's for a number, a whole gamut.